thanks for the mail. <laughs> Marketplace all closed up? Yep, I did all the stuff you asked. Great, thank you. Guess we're all set to go as soon as the girls get here. Oh, I'm so excited to show you in Sweet and Sour how beautiful our countryside is. Your guy's first Berry Bitty City annual campout. Uh, Strop, I think I've been on a few campouts in my day. <laughs> I know you have, Apple, but this is your first one with me. And that's very special to me. Oh, yeah, me too. What you got there? This is the perfect opportunity for me to film a camping video. I'm going to set up a link on my very best bits page. So, like a travel log? My night in the wilderness? Mm, not exactly. More like Apple's step-by-step -step guide on how to set up camp the right and proper Apple way. Sounds like a big project. No task is too big when it comes to teaching the world the science of camping in the outdoors. Sounds great, but... You know, this campout is for fun and friends, not work. So I hope you won't be too busy to have fun, too. Sour! Sweet! Are you ready? Hi, Apple. Where is everyone? I don't know if this great outdoors thing is gonna be so great. Sour, we haven't even left yet. That's the best time to rethink going somewhere. That's a sweet camera, Apple. <laughs> sweet, get it? <laughs> <sighs> that does look pretty pro. Shooting a big movie? A camping tutorial. Oh, wow, great idea. A movie all about us? Oh, a video of our campout? Uh, no, actually, none of you are in it, just me. I'm gonna demonstrate in high definition, stop motion, time lapse photography how to set up a camp, the fine points of how to properly pitch a tent, the do's and don'ts of unrolling a sleeping bag, how to avoid the heartbreak of a cold cook stove, two hours packed with vital information every camper needs to know. Oh, uh, two hours? And an extra half hour of exclusive bonus material. Camping tutorial, the making of. I need a cloth to clean this with. Do you have one, Strop? Sure, in the kitchen. Are we ever going? Somewhere out there is a poison ivy plant with my name on it. We're coming! Huh? Wait for us! <sighs> Sorry, we're late, Strawberry. Whew. Almost forgot the supplies Sweet asked for. No worries. So, Orange, you got marshmallows? Check. Cherry's got them in her pack. Girls, I'm so excited to make you my special s'more than s'mores recipe. It's regular s'mores, you know, graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate bar, with my unique twist, strawberry slices and shaved almond. Yum, says Plum. Neat, says Sweet. <laughs> How nuts, says Orange. Uh, that doesn't rhyme. No, no, the almond. I think I left it on the counter in my store. I'll go with you. And chocolate milk! You can't have a campfire without hot chocolate! Plum's got it in her canteen! Perfect. We'll heat it up on our campfire and then... you all know what's next! <laughs> <laughs> what? What's next? We put the fire out? <sighs> it's one of our long-standing campout traditions. Tall tales. Tall tales? Yeah. We make up fun stories, like tales, like make-believe, and tell them around the campfire. Everyone gets a turn. The wilder, more outrageous, the better. Sounds outrageously thrilling. How about short tales, so we can get home sooner? <laughs> You're too funny, Sour. All ready. Are we good? Oh, my Got it. We're all set. Let's do it.
I can start shooting. Come on, tea time. We're supposed to be relaxing and having fun. <laughs> oh, I better catch up with her. You do that. I'm gonna take a little break. <sighs> Cherry. Now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. Phew, you said it. Uh, guys, that isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? Uh, and isn't that almond supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Uh, well, but n no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? <sighs> We're here! About time. Very beautiful meadow, our old campground. What a gorgeous spot. Huh? Apple, wow, you're really going to town. The first part of assembling a tent is to lay out all your equipment in a neat and orderly manner. I'm so sorry, but this is the spot where we usually build the campfire. It is? And we set up all our sleeping bags just over there. And our cooking equipment here, near the campfire. Can I help you move your... set over to the edge of the meadow? That's okay, Strawberry. I want to keep it in a certain order, so I'll do it myself. You guys go ahead. Don't mind me. Hey. What in the very bitty world has happened to Orange, Cherry, and Plum? Maybe they got smart and went home. Sour. So, where's the marshmallows? I've got my stick. Let's get roasting. That's for after dinner. And we can't start dinner until we find the other girls. I'll go back down the trail and look for them, Strawberry. Thanks, sweet. I'll come with you. <gasps> Cherry! Plum! Orange! Where have you been? Are you all right? So sorry, Strawberry. Long story. You wouldn't even... Believe it. Try me. Well, I was just taking a little rest stop with Orange and Plum, just minding our own business, not bothering a soul, when all of a sudden... <gasps> Marshmallows. But suddenly, Orange ran out of tree. Plum and I had to think fast. She stuck a perfect ten landing. <laughs> How did you ever get the backpack back? Oh, yeah, we uh, made a trade with the bird. Orange is almond for my backpack. You mean there's not going to be any shaved almonds for my s'more than s'mores? Come on, is that what really made you late? No, it's not. <gasps> Cherry's just trying to cover up for me. The truth is, it was all my fault. It was the canteen of chocolate milk. <laughs> Like she said, we was about halfway up the trace, resting her dogs for a spell. Hey now, Plum, ain't that for strawberries, hot chocolate? We're meant to save that for around the campfire. Ah, oh, dang nabbit, y'all are right. Must be off my rocker. Then I up and recollected I'd been hankering to show the gals a new dance routine I'd been working on. Hey, 
now, looky here. Might come in handy next time we're high-stepping at a square dance. <gasps> Sizzling sassafras! Oh, blusteration. It went down a critter hole. Boy, howdy. We're in for it now. That's strawberries hot chocolate. Gotta get it back. We're with you, partner. Brisk up, gals. Here goes a nothing. So, Fico, we clomb down into that fire hole. Hold your horses now. Where'd that canteen get to? By all rights, should be right here. <laughs> well, there we was, down a hole without a coil. And then we heard something that made us wish we was anywhere but there. <gasps> hey, now! That canteen is iron, Buster. Come hand it over real friendly like. Wouldn't you know it? That critter was skittish as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Ballerish! Well, now the hair's in the butter! After that varmint! Easy now, boy. Easy. Keep him in the corral. Now, don't get his dander up. I'm gonna... He's on the prod, Plum. You best up lively. And I leapt up on him. Never have you seen such a catawumpus. Yeah! Ride him, Plum! Stick to your saddle! Rain him in! Giddy up, cowgirl! Woo! Yeah! Oh, whoa! Well, I'm here to tell you, it was a rip snorting ride. That varmint threw me and was about to head for the high horizon. We could see we had just as much a chance taking our loop back as catching a weasel asleep. But we made a fair shake in the end. What do you think there, partner? <laughs> That's okay, big fella. We love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> so... No almond shavings for my s'more than s'mores? <laughs> Come on. What really made you late? Okay, okay, here's the deal. Uh, it was really, uh, well, all my fault. The truth is... I put it to you, Orange. Might that be the very almond intended for sweet s'more than s'mores recipe? What? Well, indeed it is. Oh, whatever was I thinking, I shall squirrel it away, as they say, until an appropriate occasion calls forth the necessity to bring it out in the open. Hey, what? Well said, Orange. Well said. Uh -huh. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Is that polite? Cheeky fellow, eh, what? I say, fellow travellers, let's tarry no longer in this dreadful spot. Off we go! Beg pardon? I must confess, I read like the very dickens. And who wouldn't, being chivied by a fiend, set on Pelonian Sweet's precious almond? I believe I have a strategy that I suspect might outwit this thieving rapscallion. Have you? Do tell. <laughs> I say, old girl, capital idea. Fiddlesticks. 
Did lose the almond for my s'more than s'mores? <laughs> I don't get it. What's so funny? Sweet! <laughs> Why so serious? Don't you like our tall tales? What tall tales? Wait a minute. Oh no! Sweet, you weren't there! Wasn't where? This morning at the cafe when I explained about our tradition of telling tall tales. You went with Orange and... Oh, I'm sorry. Sweet. It's something we always do for fun around the campfire. We make up outrageous stories. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I thought all those stories were real. <laughs> nah, it's all just silly stuff. <laughs> Plum and Cherry and I will get more kindling since we were late and couldn't help set up camp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm dying to know what really happened. What really took you so long? Oh, Strawberry, I don't know. It's it's just too embarrassing. Come on. Well, it's like this. You see. We just stopped to take a break. Now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. You said it. Uh, guys, that isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? Uh, and isn't that almond supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Well, but n no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? Hey, check it! My new dance routine. Chocolate for strawberry? No marshmallows for sweets s'more than s'mores? I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. We better run back to my store. <laughs> Hurry! Before someone sees us! Can't find my keys! Oh, here. Hold this. Marshmallows. Check inside the storeroom? You got it. I found the marshmallows in the storeroom, but I tripped and knocked the door closed, and I couldn't get it opened. Hey! Get me out of here! Hold on, Plum. Uh, we'll catch you! Here. Got everything? Canteen. Marshmallows. Check. Where's the almond? Inside. On the counter. Locked. Keys. Inside. On the counter. Next to the almond. Aww. Now what do we do? We gotta get back. It's getting late and they'll be worried. Sorry, sweet. You're gonna have to do without the almond. And so, we ran back up here as fast as we could. <laughs> That's the best tall tale ever! <laughs> but unfortunately, it's true. 
This is the greatest thing ever. It is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And here you go, Lemon. And thank you for the wonderful Glamacure. <sighs> this is the greatest beautification success I've ever had. Mr. Longface. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry, everyone. Um, 
um, I'd better go do something uh, somewhere else. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. What am I doing? Hmm. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Maybe a little quiet will help me think of an answer. Here. Oh, it's just, um, uh, wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. And waterproof. <gasps> waterproof? Oh, is that so? Yeah, won't wash off, no matter how hard you scrub. <laughs> how lucky for us. <laughs> Music is nice here and there, but all day and all night? I can't think straight. Try dancing to two tunes at the same time. The one you're supposed to dance to, and the one coming from your glamicure. I think people aren't coming to the store as much because they're getting tired of the glamicure music. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Oh, <gasps> maybe Raspberry and Blueberry can think of something. Good idea. In the meantime, let's get out of here. So, what do we do now? I don't know. What can we do? You say you want a pan of stew? No, I said what can we do? Well, the first thing we can do is get rid of these earmuffs. They're almost as bad as the Glamacures. So, what do we do? Okay. Everybody hold your hands very still. <sighs> Look, we have to tell Lemon that these things just aren't working out. But how could we do that? She's so proud of them. I know. I've never seen her so thrilled about something. It would hurt her feelings to learn the truth. I'm not gonna be the one to tell her. If she found out that we don't like her glamicures, well, she, she, oh, she might stop giving manicures altogether. Why, she might even stop giving hair stylings. And she might not speak to us ever again. She might close the salon and move away. And it'd be our fault for being so cruel. You're right. Strawberry'd never do something like that. She's too considerate. Yeah, yeah that's true. You're right. She's really yeah. nice about things like this. I take back what I said about telling Lemon. I would go to the ends of the earth rather than hurt her feelings. I would go beyond the ends of the earth. Well, I would. Uh, I would. I would put up with my glamour forever. Us too. It's decided. We'll never tell them and her glamicures are driving us crazy. Right! It's a really simple step, Orange. Just do exactly what I do. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Three, one, two, three, four. One, three, two, seven, eight. The signal for nap time, nothing is. Huh? What?
see. Who are you looking for, Lemon? Oh, raspberry and orange. They were supposed to meet me for a picnic, but they haven't shown. That's odd. I wonder what happened. It seems as if Blueberry and Plum have been avoiding me, too. I wonder if they're mad at me. Mad at you? Maybe I did something wrong, or maybe they just don't like me anymore. I don't see how anyone couldn't like you. I know. How about if I do my pruning later, and I'll picnic with you? Oh, Strawberry, thank you. And then, when we're done, you could go by the other girls' places and ask them if everything's okay. Ask them? Oh, oh my, no. I couldn't do that. I know it's scary sometimes to ask difficult questions, but wouldn't you rather know the truth than imagine bad things? Oh, but what if the truth is something just... Terrible. Could it be more terrible than what you're already afraid of? Maybe they don't like me anymore? Well, uh, I guess you have a point. What if you ask them for me? Uh, I think it's better coming from you. More direct, you know? But I'll be happy to go with you if you'd like. I'll think about it. After our picnic. Sounds good. Strawberry had the same idea. <laughs> Gardening gloves. That's good. But isn't she afraid Lemon will catch on? Oh, oh looks like she's taking them off. Oh, poor Strawberry. Such a kind soul to picnic with Lemon and endure that music. Oh, I feel so bad avoiding Lemon's invitation for a picnic. Uh, me too. But I just couldn't bear to listen to my glamicure. Be strong. We made a vow to live with our glamicures and not tell Lemon. No matter how tired we are, no matter how many picnics we have to miss. Deal? Deal. You're right, Strawberry. I have to talk to my friends. And now's as good a time as any. But you'll come along, right? Sure. Everything's just great. Oh, sorry about the picnic. Just got so busy in the store. Oh, I see. That's fine. Strawberry joined me. Uh, so is your glamicure working okay? Okay? Well, sure. Light's nice and bright? So bright you almost need sunglasses. <laughs> oh, good. Plenty of music? Ooh, morning, noon, and night. <laughs> well, thanks. I just wanted to see if everything was okay. As okay as an O and a K can be. Cookbook. Hi, Blueberry. Hi. Oh, uh, hi. Um, is this a bad time? Is everything okay, Blueberry? Okay? Uh, couldn't be better. Why, I was just sorting books to the tune of my glamic here. <laughs> Oh, good. I was just... Well, I haven't seen you in a couple of days. I just wanted to make sure I didn't do anything to... Well, you know, bother you? Bother me? Why, no, no! Okay, that's good. Well, I'll see you around then. Nice to see you, Lemon! Strawberry! <sighs> that was close. Bosley! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
How much I love my glamicure? Thanks, Plum. See you later. You were right. Everything is fine. I think. You think? Well, everyone said so, but I had a teeny tiny feeling that maybe something wasn't right. Huh. Oh well, it must have just been me. I guess. I'm just glad that you spoke to everyone. That took courage, Lemon. Thanks. Yeah, I do feel better. I guess. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Poor things. I'm sure you're wondering why I asked you here. I need your help with something. <gasps> Strawberry? Where'd they go? What happened to your glamicure? Oh, it wasn't working out for me. It was a little too bright and distracting. <gasps> I know! I can't dance with it. I can't stack my shelves. I can't sleep. And it clashes with everything I wear. How did you get rid of it? We tried everything. Soap and water, ketchup and peanut butter. How'd you do it? I just told Lemon how I felt. And she removed it. You told her? But, 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 but is she all right? Uh, did it break her heart? Oh, Strawberry, how could you? I just figured that part of being a good friend is having the courage to give constructive criticism. You know, telling them the truth about something so they can do better the next time. And the other part is taking that criticism in a friendly way, <laughs> which Lemon did. She's fine. Oh, it was driving me crazy. I couldn't think straight. I wanted to hide my head under a pillow. I tried that. It didn't work. But we've been putting up with it because, well, so we wouldn't have to tell Lemon. We kind of avoided it. Completely. We even kind of avoided Lemon. I know. She told me. She was worried you might be upset with her. Oh, no. That's just awful. Poor Lemon. And she even dropped by today to make sure everything was okay between us. And I didn't tell her the truth. Well, there's only one thing to do. You'll just have to tell her. Could we? We... we won't make her feel... bad? You can't make her feel worse than you did by hiding from her. I guess. Yes. We should. We definitely better. I agree. We really ought to... Tell Lennon the truth! <laughs> so, what are you waiting for? You go. Now you go. After you. No, you. Hi! Wow! Do you all need appointments right now? Come on. It's what friends do. It's the... uh... the glamicures. We kind of think they sort of aren't right for us. Not right? Stop it! Stop it! Stop! <laughs> You're... Laughing? But why? <laughs> I never... <laughs> I never realized how bothersome these glamicures could be. Whew. We didn't hurt your feelings? Well, I'm disappointed they didn't work out, but I really wish you'd told me sooner. I mean, you're my friends. I'd rather you were honest with me. I'm sorry we weren't. I've got a great idea. New and improved Super Glamicures! Uh, super uh, Glamicures? Really? I don't know. Don't worry. 
I'll listen to any suggestions you have. Ooh, ooh, controllable colors. And a way to change the tune. Oh, a way to change the beat. A way to turn them off. Yeah! All great ideas. Yeah! <laughs> Especially the off switch. Ringing? I'll tell you my secret, Blueberry. That's because I turned it off. <laughs> oh, wow! What will your manager say? And my promoter, and my agent, and my stylist, and my trainer, and my publicist, and my tour manager, and my assistant, and, and everyone in Berry Big City. And <laughs> Lemon, this sunscreen is very wonderfully fragrant. So. Uh... Lemony! Glad you like it, Cherry. What about your tour? Girls, I'd like to ask you a favor. Sure, Cherry. Anything! Of course! You name it! I'm going to turn on my phone, call my manager, and tell her I'd like to postpone planning my tour, and... Stay here longer? Really? That's fantastic! You mean it? Cherry, that's wonderful! You're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Thank you so much, Strawberry. I could use a vacation, and I can't think of a better place to take one than Berry Bitty City. Yay! <laughs> so, what's on your vacation schedule for today, Cherry? <sighs> I thought I'd sit down by the lake. Blueberry loaned me a thrilling new Patty Persimmon book, Mystery of the Missing Mozzarella. Ooh, sounds like a nice, relaxing way to spend the day. I made you a special cherry turnover for your picnic. Oh, thank you so much, Strawberry. I, I wish I had something for you. Oh, you being here is enough. Have fun. I will. <sighs> It was the sous chef all along. Uh -huh. What was that? One and two and kickball change. Kickball change, other side and kickball change. Very nicely done. Hi, Cherry Jam. Hi, Plum. What is that awful noise? Barry Kim Bloom is learning to play the bassoon. He likes to practice in the gazebo. <sighs> now that is music. Oh my. I'll let you get back to class. See you later. And kickball change, kickball change. <laughs> so cute. Come in. <laughs> Cherry? Uh, lemon? Is is that you? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I need to wear these when I do the princess's toes. <laughs> oh, Barrick and Bloom in his bassooning. But it is his new passion. <laughs> so, uh, do you need a pedicure? Oh, uh, no thank you. I'll stop by a little later. Just saying hi. See you later. Bye-bye. Strawberry, you're such a talented cook. 
<laughs> Thank you, Cherry. Something special to snack on at the book club tonight. That's very thoughtful of you. <laughs> See! How was the mystery book? Very thrilling! I finished it! Wow! Ready to start another one? Actually... Uh... <laughs> actually, I kind of think I've had enough vacation. Oh, really? You aren't going back to Berry Big City so soon, are you? Oh, no. no! I love it here. It's just... Well, everyone makes a contribution in Berry Bitty City. I, I mean, Raspberry makes beautiful fashions. Orange makes sure everyone can get whatever they need at her store. Plum teaches dancing. I wish... I wish there was something I could do, too, Strawberry! You know what we need? What? A music teacher. That's something you could contribute. Wow, that I can do. <laughs> when can I start? <laughs> Excellent, Barrican Bloom. Keep up the practice. Thank you, Miss Cherry. <laughs> Sounding good, Barrican Bloom. <laughs> Barry. Yeah! <laughs> nice! Thank you for letting us use your studio, Plum. Uh, I'm wondering if you could use it a little more. to make music, Cherry Jam? Well, uh, okay! Really good. You're coming along great, Plum. Thank you. This is great. Now I'll be able to keep the beat for my dance students. Well, that's all for today. Tomorrow we'll learn paradiddles. Paradiddles? Sure. Here, I'll show you. At the rate you're learning, you'll be doing that with your eyes closed by the time we hold a recital at the end of the week. Recital? Oh, I can't wait. Cherry, wait! What is it, Plum? Well, do we really need to have a recital? <laughs> well, sure. It's customary. Is customary necessary? A recital is a good learning milestone. Something to work for. <laughs> well, that's what my music teacher used to say. Part of the fun of making music is performing it for others. Well, see you tomorrow. Uh-huh. See ya. I better keep practicing. Crazy legs, crazy legs, box step and crazy legs, crazy legs in 
and shimmy and shimmy. That's it. Shimmy and fall off the log. Fall off the log. Fish tails, fish tails. That's it. You're swimming. You're swimming. And shish kaboom ba. One, two, three, four. Shish kaboom ba. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. Oops. Sorry about that. Again. Here, Plum. Oh, thank you. Uh-oh. Let's end class a little early today. Good work, everyone. Bye, see you later. Bye. Thanks, Plum. Bye, see you next time. That was my bow. Oh, no worries. Back under, please. <laughs> uh, F. Oh, no, no, G. Uh, -la -la -na -na -na. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Careful with that thing, Orange. That thing is called a bow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, Lemon, could you? Oh, of course. Pardon me. I I think this hand is done soaking. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Girls, do you think it might be possible, pretty please, to do your practicing elsewhere? This is salon time. But we have to practice for the recital. Every moment counts. <laughs> we're sorry, Lemon. You are absolutely right. Girls, we're being rude to Lemon. We all need the talent that Lemon has to offer, so we should show respect for her work and not get in the way. Oh, there Hi, you Cherry. are. Hi, Hey. How's it going? Girls, I wanted to let you know I'm moving the recital to next Tuesday. Really? But we'll be ready. We've been practicing. No, it's Plum. She sprained her wrist and, and needs a couple more days to recuperate. Oh, no. Poor Plum. That's terrible. Well, that gives us more time to practice. I guess I'll need another salon appointment for the day before. Me too. Me three. Can you put me down for one, two, Lemon? Got it. Raspberry, that's great! You're ready for Tuesday's recital right now! Oh, thanks, Terry. Uh, I wanted to ask, though, or request, I mean, uh, ask a favor. Sure. Well, Plum just told me she needs a new dress for the recital, and I don't have time to make one, well, to finish one by Tuesday. I feel so bad for her. She's really up... dis... upset. She wanted me to ask you. Oh, you really care about her, don't you? Well, I just know how much difference a new dress can make, you know? No problem. Will another day be enough? Sure. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I'll tell the other students. Wednesday it is. Here I come! Ooh, I can't wait! It's going to look smash, uh, terrific, uh, smasherific on her! Gorgeous! Beautiful dress, Raspberry! It looks exquisite on her! Stunning! Oh, perfect! She'll look great at the recital! Recital! <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, Plum! Oh, poor thing! Uh, uh, let us help you up. Ouch! I don't think I can sit. Oh, I'm so sorry. Poor Plum. Um, in fact, I 
I don't think I'll be able to sit at my drum set at all. A at least for a couple of days until it's uh, better. Well, I guess we could put off the recital again another day or two. Oh, uh, sure. No problem. That's okay. Sure, Plum. We can wait. Oh, thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Because I really want to be part of the recital. <laughs> until tonight. Uh, that's just the thing, Cherry. You see, I... I can't find my drumsticks. You can't find your drumsticks? No problem. I'll help you look. Oh, I'm sure I can find them. All I need is just one more day to look for them, I mean. Another day? but I just baked these for the recital. I know, but poor Plum. She's having so many troubles. Strawberry, is it true? We're postponing the recital again? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Oh, I was so excited to perform, but now I've built up too much excitement, and I'm, you know, losing my nerve. I can't do everyone's hair and nails every day. I, I just can't do it anymore and practice my bass. I, oh, I just can't do it. But poor Plum, she can't find her drumsticks. Hmm. I think I know where they might be. Let's wait a bit before postponing the recital. I'm gonna go help Plum find what she needs. Ouch! Oh, sorry. You're sure you had your drumsticks when you were picking flowers? Sure. Um, yeah. Well, I... Uh, I think so. Oh, Strawberry, I'm so sorry uh, about delaying the recital and all. I know. I am too. And everyone else. But I thought everyone would be happy to have more time to practice. Well, at first, maybe, but now they've built up so much anticipation, they're all getting nervous. I know it isn't your fault, but... If everyone didn't want to wait, then why did they? Because we care about you, Plum. Oh. Oh, Strawberry. I didn't realize. Everyone's been so kind and patient, and I've been making up excuses to put off the recital. But why? You love to perform. You dance for us all the time. But I'm good at dancing. This is different. I've never performed all by myself at something I make lots of mistakes at. In front of people all looking at me. Hmm. You have a point there. Let's see how many mistakes we're talking about. Just you and me. Oh. Okay if it's just you. <laughs> oh, you found them! <laughs> yeah, wonder how they got in there. <laughs> Whoa, neat! <laughs> when did you learn that beat? These are called paradiddles, and every time I try them... <laughs> that happens. Try again, but hold on a little tighter. Oh, Lemon's gotta see this. Can I call her? Oh, well, I guess that'd be okay if it's just you and Lemon. Hi, Lemon. Lady. Oh, Blueberry's got to see this. Oh, and look what else 
Cherry taught me for the recital. Wow, Plum! That's great! I think you really are ready for the recital. Oh? Well, I have an idea. It's not really fair that everyone else hasn't had a chance to warm up. Why don't we all do a number together to start off? Oh, that would be great, Cherry. So, can we let the rest of the audience in? Sure. I'm ready. Thank you, everyone. That's it? The rest of the students are already here. <laughs> oh! I insisted on being invited as a prospective student. <clears throat> I am thinking of taking up the bassoon. Oh, that's oh, great, that's Princess! Great. You'll be so good at it! Oh, that'll be fantastic! Princess, we could play a duet. As you wish, Barrack and Bloom. As you wish. <laughs> 